Morning folks, boy Braff is here. 10.38 a.m. taking Chief out. So I just taking the morning off today. Uh, Maddie's gotta get her staples out of her heel. So we gotta go at 11 o'clock to the doctor and she gets them taken out. And then I think I'm gonna try to get something done for the afternoon. So we can get a little bit of money in today. A couple hours down, something like that. 11.09, we're up at the hospital. Maddie's just down in that little building right there. Gotta go see the doctor and then uh, get the staples taken out. Hopefully she's able to walk a little bit better afterwards. Not exactly too sure what we're doing for work this week. Friggin' rain basically all week. Thursday's supposed to be like sun and clouds. But we still got that $200 raking job to do out in Ennismore. We got work in Lakefield where we're moving those patio stones. What else we got? What else we got? We got those rocks to move still. Got like maybe one and a half load left of rocks to get out of there. Then we got brush to take away. Some work out there yet. So we got like three, four different outside jobs to do. And then uh, still got the units. I noticed that I got a few of them cleaned out. And then people are throwing the garbage back into them. So I'm going to have to clean them out again. I don't mind, I'm getting paid. But this time, when I clean them out, I'm slapping a lock on them. And then no one's throwing their garbage in there. And then uh, maybe we can get them rented out. <laughs> That'd be nice. That would be nice. But I'll tell you what isn't nice. It's friggin' weather. Slowing us right down. Well, that was awfully quick. Only like 10 minutes. It's like 11.20 and uh, Maddie just texted me. Staples already out. She's just got to talk to her doctor and then she's good to go. Maddie's all done. Go down here and pick her up. And back to the apartment. And then figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. Ended up going to Walmart. Got a couple things. Just had some lunch with Maddie. It's 1 o'clock. Now we're heading her out. Gonna go to grandma's, see what's popping there. Then we're gonna go down to the units, try to get a couple emptied out, maybe take a trip to the dump. And then that'll probably be the day, pretty much. Not a whole lot today. Back in the car, she's time to roll on out. Roll on out. truck. We made her to the work truck. Running meat. Can't friggin' believe this. Soon, as fast as I can get these units emptied, people just keep throwing stuff back in here. This one was sweeped out, ready to be rented. Now it's full of garbage again. Just full of stuff. We're gonna check all these. Okay, still empty. We found a new couch too that came from somewhere. Still empty. Check this last one here. Still empty. Yeah, this is making me angry. Making me friggin' angry. Empty, I had that there, so this one I'm in touch, still gotta be swept out though. Okay, still empty. Still empty. Still empty. Locked. Check 28. Still empty. 27. Empty. 26. Empty. 25 is locked. 24 was empty. Now we got this fucking couch in here. 
mind my language, but I'm getting angry. This one was ready for rent. Now we got a whole bunch of clothes and crap, broken glass, and the couch. Like, where'd this couch come from? You can clearly see someone just dragged her in here over the weekend. Big old work boots. Just threw it right off the truck and then dragged her. But man, this is starting to make me angry. This is the only locker that should have crap in it, because this is my locker. Okay, this stuff's all right here. Doesn't matter, we'll get rid of that whenever. But the rest of these, unless they got one of these on them, they're supposed to be empty. And I'm trying, but as fast as I get them empty, people are filling them back up. You're gonna have to get some locks off Barry and just get them all locked up. Well, I've been finding a bit of stuff here and whoever put the stuff in this unit got a whole bunch of tackle, got some fishing line, like eight pound test, 15 pound test, 20 pound test, 40 pound test, 50 pound test. So yeah, we're good for fishing line. <laughs> There's a helmet there, probably take that up to the cabin. There's a kitchen table here. Looks fairly nice, I probably could sell it. But just to get this cleaned up again, we're just going to take it to the restore. Table chairs, go to the restore there. All these lights though, I think we're going to keep all these Chevy lights. I believe uh, some of these might even work on Gramps' truck. So we'll have to take a look. We will have to take a look. Just finding a whole bunch of stuff here. Found some friggin' porn for back of the cabin. Adult sex film. I guess this is what porn used to be like back in the 80s. Just put one of these into your TV and there you go. Combros number five. Found a whole bunch of stuff. Some friggin' puffers. Like a whole bunch of brand new puffers still in the box. Like probably not even over exaggerating. About seven puffers. All brand new still in the box. I was squirting them. Stuff coming out of them. So yeah. I don't know who ditched all this stuff behind. It actually is a really nice dining set. You know, it's a nice table. It's got two leaves, comes out nice. Got five chairs with it. Yeah, I mean, it's got a couple dings here and there. But overall, it's a nice set. Pretty nice set. That's just mint. Brand new CD. Price tag still on her. This is odd. You don't find this very often, not even in your own toolbox. Got a 10 millimeter wrench. That always comes in handy. Never does not come in handy. And then, uh, what else we got here? I only got one hand. Got this little utility knife. So we're not doing too bad. Open her up. Oh, she's not even seized. Oh, maybe a little seized. Okay, yeah, they're a little seized. Need a little elbow grease up in here. A little WD-40 something. Oh yeah. Look at that. See the rust? Yep. Need some WD. WD-40 words on there. Taking a quick trip to the scrapyard. Quick trip into the scrapyard. Don't really have much. Might be a couple bucks. Might be a couple bucks. You hear it? The scrapyard. Gotta wait for these boys. trucks in here right now. You, there's like three, four Chevys. This Honda just got brought in. Man, people are just hating on the Chevys though, I guess. Just hating on the Chevys. Holy jumpings. How long does it take for two guys to undo a ratchet strap? Holy. Do I need to go teach him how to fucking use one? Like they don't know what they're doing.
Fall. does it take to undo a ratchet strap? Apparently more than those two. Now we'll go hit the scale. Right, that's probably hard for him to hit that scale. Some metal just chilling out on the road there. I don't know what that's all about. Should have grabbed that on my way in. Going in behind the big old 18 wheelie. Slipping off the scale on that one side. Uh oh. It's not good. I might have to back up. Oh, I got someone right behind me. I can't even back up. Oh, he's got like six stoves on there. Trailer just full of stoves. Yeah, he's hanging right off the scale. Ruh-roh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. Hopefully he can clear it. Yeah, right over there, that Chevy. That one's new. We have that one there. And then there's that one over there. And then there's another Chevy on the other side of that fire truck. So there's what, four Chevys, all roughly same year in here. we're gonna get I know it's not gonna be much not gonna be much at all and figures they wouldn't take my propane tanks I knew they wouldn't take the little ones but I was hoping they'd maybe take these ones and they didn't have anything on top but no they still have to be cut in half well that could have been worse I ended up getting 15 16 17 18 bucks and uh, I guess I asked about all the Chevys that are here Apparently none of them are actually scrapped at all. I guess it's the owner. He owns all those old Chevys. And I guess, uh, I don't know, he's just been acquiring them. So yeah, he's got like four or five Chevys sitting out in the yard. And apparently they're not for scrap or to be scrapped or getting sold. Someone owns them. Which sucks, because I would like to get my hands on an old Chevy. I already got the tail lights for it, so hell, might as well get the truck. Just loading up some skids that were at the back of the shop here, trying to clean some things up. Those ones my dad will take, he'll cut those up. 
And then uh, I think Thursday night or early Friday morning, I have to go up to Melbridge to take Nan to an appointment. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna take up a big load of skids with us and fill the truck load of wood. Try to get the rest of these units cleaned out, and then we can. Uh, some of the skids we're gonna use for piling firewood on up there, and then the rest of the stuff will just burn. We will burn her. Got a friggin' minty uh, stool for around the fire though out there, back of the cabin. Got a nice uh, manual grass mowing machine. Just push her back and forth and she'll chop up the grass for you. Friggin' mint. Mint. Just potting it nice and slow. Just doing a little over 20. Got some loose things in the back of the truck. Tailgate's down. Got a long more handle hanging off over here, so we're just taking her nice and slow. Nice and friggin' slow. Main thing is we don't have to go far. Not far at all. My dad's still in the middle of painting his truck, and I guess he's gotta go uh, cut Mrs. Proctor's grass. So I'm taking the lawnmower over there for him. And then apparently she's got another garbage bag of wine bottles for me. So that works out good. I can collect the wine bottles. And by the sounds of it, we'll be going to the beer store tomorrow. So that's not so bad at all. Not so bad at all. Dad's gonna cut the grass. Time for us to roll on out. Well, first pull fire dirt up. Friggin' man. Friggin' man. We'll circle back around to Grandma's for a little bit. Unload some of this stuff. Put it in the bedroom for now. And then, yeah, I know I'm not too, too sure what the plans are. Probably need to get some weed because we're getting low. Got a Honda sitting in the middle of the road here for where he's on. Not sure if he's out of gas or if he's just an idiot. Probably a bit of both. Bit of both. Can't even pull over. Yep, just parked in the middle of the road. Put my four ways on. Well, hey, I got four ways, so it's all right. I can park anywhere. That's what these people driving the Hondas think. They're just freaking crazy. 5.30, we've just been going through some stuff. Got a couple more bags packed ready to go up to the cabin. Gotta uh, take these cups over to the apartment. This one's for me, that one's for Maddie, for milkshakes and smoothies and things like that. Got them out of the storage unit. Just gonna say screw it and take the work truck home. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much ending the night, you know, we'll go home, we'll do some dishes, make some dinner, walk chief, uh, clean some bongs, a couple things like that, have a few beers in the shower. And then hopefully tomorrow maybe uh, we'll get some more stuff done. But I'm still don't care. Like even for having such a slow day as we did. Let's see how much did I make? I made 15 at the scrapyard. And then about 90 bucks with everything I did over at the units today. So that's still 105 bucks. Or I guess I made 18, so closer to 20. So yeah, like 115 bucks, 110 bucks. Like, that's not bad. Not a bad day for a slow day. It's not bad for a slow day. Wonder where my dad's going. Hmm. He's in grandma's car going somewhere. Looks like he's heading home. Must have been somewhere. We are home. We friggin' made our alligator. Oh, time to go upstairs. Up we friggin' go. Brap! Big ol' brap. We're brapping.
Take the chief oil aside, did some dishes, cleaned up the bongs. Gonna get the lumps to are back inside. I'm gonna go have a shower and have a couple beers. Then have some deep. Come on, Chief, let's get her going. Fucking big wraps. Then we're going inside, drink some beer. Back upstairs we go. Back up the freaking stairs we go. Oh, elevator. <laughs> Do you think that's how it works, eh?